Happy Wednesday, Don McLaughlin checking in for another episode of Wednesday Wisdom. This month, April, all focused on nutrition and today is three minutes, two tips in three minutes to really set ourselves up for success when we're making a, a, a significant change in terms of our diets. The first is incorporating a cheat day. You know, this, is, I think, is one of the reasons that the slow carb diet in particular, so many people have had so much success with it. It really does two things. This cheat day, one day a week, usually on the weekend I think is best, is just to eat anything and everything we know we shouldn't eat the other six days of the week when we're implementing a new diet. And the first thing it does is it provides just a psychological relief valve where we know through the course of the six days during the week when we're eating really cleanly that we'll have that day to eat anything and everything we know we shouldn't. And the second thing it does, it over time allows us to really feel viscerally what it's like to consume foods that we know are probably not really healthy for us, but taste really, really good. We have, I think over time, this visceral reaction as the cheat day comes up, and then our body starts to tell us what it is that we most crave and need. The second tip is all around this idea of the psychology of placement, which which is really the things that we want to change. If we place items that are really hard to ignore in our day-to-day -day life, we're much more apt to consistently make those changes. So an example, if we're committed to a new exercise routine, we might put our uh, our, our gym bag with our sneakers and workout gear in a place where we just can't get by it. So for example, for me, you know, traveling uh, for years, I started to just place my workout gear right in the hotel room, right in the front of the door so that the next morning that was, that was sort of easy for me to do, right? It makes it easy because we've set ourselves up for success. And likewise, with our Pure Power approach to nutrition, setting ourselves up for success by, by um, meal planning and having at the ready those new, new uh, things that we know we want to incorporate. So in the example I provided last week, you know, having, you know, fresh or frozen spinach on hand, legumes, um, you know, having those ready to go makes it so much easier on a day-to-day -day basis because, you know, they're in the fridge, they're, they're easily accessible. So uh, having, uh, again, those things that we want to implement into our diet, you just plan ahead and make it easy. So those are the two tips, three minutes. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Let us know questions, comments, and have a fantastic rest of the week. Talk soon.